Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the slide. With the NFL season getting kicked off Thursday night, with the Buccaneers defeating the Cowboys 31-29, I decided I wanted to go through this week's games and give you my picks for who I have winning each game. So uh, let's get into it. Starting off, the Eagles are heading to Atlanta to play the Falcons. Uh, I like the Falcons in this game. I think the Falcons' offense is a little too high-powered for the Eagles' defense, and I don't think the Eagles are going to have that good of a season anyways. That being said, I don't think the Falcons are anything special either, but I do think their offense, like I said, is too good for uh, the Eagles. Kyle Pitts is seeming to be everything he was promised to be. Matt Ryan will have a uh, good statistical season. Um, Calvin Ridley, another year. Uh, he should be good as well. No Julio Jones, but I don't think that will have too much of an impact on this game. Uh, I like the Falcons to get this one done at home. Next up, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers going to play the Buffalo Bills. Um, another highlight game. Uh, this is a game I'll probably be paying attention to the most other than the Patriots game. Um, I like the Bills in this game. Uh, I think Buffalo is going to have an amazing season, as I showed in my prediction video. If you haven't watched that, check that out. Um, I go through all the, the AFC uh, divisions, and I go through how I think the standings will play out by the end of the season. Uh, I have Buffalo first in the AFC East, and uh, I like them getting it done at home in this game. Josh Allen should have an amazing season. Uh, he'll be in the MVP race. Stephon Diggs, they have a great chemistry. Uh, I think their defense is a little bit better. Um, that being said, I don't think the Steelers are a pushover in this game whatsoever. Uh, don't try to not look at the end of the season last year for the Steelers. Remember the beginning of the season when they are like sacking all over the place and they're having an amazing defensive start. Um, I think you'll see some of that in this one because they're healthy and they were healthy then as well. So uh, I think it'll be a good game, but I like Buffalo to win it. I'll give a score prediction. I'll say 27-21. Next up, we have uh, Sam Darnold's game against the, uh, his former team, the Jets. Um, I like the Panthers in this one. Uh, I think Zach Wilson struggles early in uh, this season. Uh, I like Sam Darnold, his weapons, DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson. He has a connection with Robbie Anderson before. And, uh, yeah, I think the Jets team is not deep enough to compete in uh, really any of the early games. And I think Zach Wilson would get a little bit more comfortable with the team. The Jets uh, are going to have a tough time this season. And, uh, yeah, I like the Panthers to get this one done. Uh, next up, we have the Minnesota Vikings going to uh, Cincinnati to play the Bengals. Uh, I like Minnesota in this game. Like I said, I think Minnesota is one of the most improved teams this season. And, uh, yeah, I think that um, the Joe Burrow will have – although I did think Dak would have a problem coming back, but he really didn't, I do think it will be more of a factor for Joe Burrow. That bad offensive line it will be a factor as well. And, uh, yeah – Look for the Vikings to uh, run a lot this game. I think it'll be pretty low scoring, but uh, yeah. Next up, we have the 49ers at the Lions. This game, I don't really have a lot of personal investment in. I think the 49ers will do what they need to do, get this win. Um, yeah, the Lions don't have a lot of promise this season. Jared Goff, I'm not really high on him anyways. So uh, yeah, uh, should be an interesting season for the Lions fans. I believe this also is another dud. Jacksonville at the Texans. This game is going to be a mess. I think I would look for this game to be turnover heavy. I do like Jacksonville, though. Uh, Trevor Lawrence's first start. That's always interesting to see. First round pick in his first game. I think he'll play okay, and I think the Texans' uh, struggles will help him quite a bit. Next up, I think this is going to be a really good game. The Seahawks going to play the Colts. The Seahawks are favored in this game, but uh, this is a game I would stay away from picking the spreads for. I think uh, this one could get a little messy. It's two and a half. This is basically just picking a winner. And I think the Seahawks are going to win. I think Russell Wilson will have a really good early start to the season like he always does. But uh, I do think this Colts team is uh, pretty good as well. I think Carson Wentz will surprise a lot of people with the season he has this year. And uh, yeah, I think the, the Seahawks... Uh, and DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett is always efficient in the red zone. Russell Wilson's obviously amazing. Um, the backfield concerns me a little bit for the Seahawks, but I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. I think the Seahawks will take the, uh, get this one, get this win. Next up, we have the Cardinals uh, going to play the Tennessee Titans. This game, I'm really torn on. Um, 
I still don't really have an idea in my head of who I think is going to win this. Um, Kyler Murray, another year in the Cardinals system. I think he'll be a little bit better this year, but I also think he'll still have some trouble, uh, you know, really moving the chains. I think their offense will be a little bit slower this year. Um, they have a win now mentality with JJ Watt. Um, they, I don't know if their future is super promising, but if they're going to get it done, it's going to be this season. But I do like the Titans in this game uh, to win pretty handily. Next up, uh, it's the hardest game of uh, for me to pick this week. It's the Chargers at Washington. Um, I think this this game is going to be a problem uh, for people picking it. Uh, it should be super close. Chargers offense versus the Washington football team's defense. Uh, it should be a great matchup. Uh, Justin Herbert in the second year, it's exciting. Chase Young in his second year is exciting. Um, I think Washington has some offensive problems, and that's why I'm going to go with the Chargers in this one to get it done. Next up, we have the Browns at the Chiefs. Um, Chiefs obviously losing the Super Bowl to the Buccaneers by uh, a large margin. And uh, I think they come out with a different mentality this season. I think they got humbled in the Super Bowl, quite frankly. And, uh, yeah, I think the Browns will have an amazing season. Uh, I've talked about it before. But I think the Chiefs, uh, especially at Arrowhead, those fans are going to be pumped up. I think that stadium has been sold out um, since the Titans' AFC Championship game. But, yeah, I like the Chiefs in this one. Uh, I think they'll win by a touchdown. Next up, we have the Dolphins going to New England to play the Patriots. Mac Jones' first start, that's super exciting. Um, Two Alabama QBs, I think that's an interesting story. Uh, I think the biggest mismatch in this game is the Patriots' front seven versus the Dolphins' O-line. The Dolphins' O-line is super young, super inexperienced, and uh, I think that'll be a problem for Tua. Uh, I don't even think he's that good anyways, and if he's under pressure the whole game, I think that'll be a problem. Other side, the Patriots, uh, Nelson Aguilar is questionable for this game. Ramondre Stevenson, uh, I believe he broke his thumb, so I don't know if he's even going to play in this game. So the Patriots might be a little shorthanded. Um, I looked the, for the Patriots to be in 12 personnel, and if the Dolphins play that uh, the way I think they will, look for the Patriots to run it down their throat all game with Damian Harris. Uh, look for this also to be a low-scoring game. I like the Patriots. Uh, 21-17. Next up, we have the Packers are going to play the Saints. Uh, I'll take the Packers in this one. I think the Saints are not that good of a team this season. I think their only source of offense is Alvin Kamara. Uh, the Packers, Aaron Rodgers, uh, getting ready for his uh, MVP, uh, reigning MVP season. Um, once again, this game is being played at Jacksonville, like I said in my last video. Um, I don't know if that causes any problems for the Saints. I don't think it should, but, you know, it could always be a factor. They're not playing in the dome like they're accustomed to. So, uh, yeah, I don't think this game will be particularly close, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, I think the Packers will get this one done. Um, I think this game is a little bit of a dud. We have the Broncos going to the Giants. I'll take the Broncos to win this game. Uh, I think Daniel Jones, uh, who I was high on going into this season, seems to not be where I thought he was going to be, quite frankly. Uh, I don't think on the other side of the ball, the Broncos are very good on offense either, though. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater is not going to be able to carry this team. Uh, excited to watch Pat Sertain in his first NFL start, but other than that, I won't be really paying attention to this game. Uh, I like the Broncos in a... Low scoring game, 17 to 10. Sunday Night Football this week is the Bears at the Rams. Uh, I hope this game is good, but I don't think it will be based on the line as well. Um, I'll take the Rams at home on Sunday Night Football. Uh, I really wish Andy Dalton wasn't playing in this game, but he is. So no Justin Fields. Uh, excited to watch Stafford in his first game with the Rams. Uh, that should be fun. Uh, but yeah, really... In my head, I'm just waiting for Justin Fields to get on the field for the Bears. Uh, and then I'll be super excited to watch the Bears. Monday Night Football uh, this week is the Ravens heading to the Raiders. Uh, I would say the storyline of the week is Gus Edwards. Uh, I believe he tore his ACL. 
So the Ravens running back room is shot right now. No J.K. Dobbins, no Gus Edwards. Lamar's right now their only source of a run game, so that scares me. But on the same side, uh, to that point, I don't think the Raiders are very good this season either. Um, I like Derek Carr. I like Josh Jacobs. But other than that, not huge on anything. I think Darren Waller actually is at a very good t- uh, tight end. Uh, probably my top five, I would say. Um, Mark Andrews is also a very good tight end. Um, they added McCall Hardman, uh, Hollywood Brown. Um, yeah, I think the Ravens will win this game in an offensive battle. I'll take the Ravens 31 to 23. All right, so thank you for watching this video of my picks for the week. Uh, let me know your thoughts on who you think will win this game. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.